Recent research at the University of Minnesota has the potential to revolutionize medicine and computers. Could be a step forward in early detection of cancer, fixing nerve damage, and more. Leah Bino went to the lab on the U of M's campus to learn more. Lead researcher and PhD candidate Judy Sharon equates what she's doing with test tubes and cells to taking a car engine apart and learning as much as possible about the potential of each piece. Some of the more circular ones are what we're looking for. Even though biology research has existed for arguably hundreds of years, there's still so little we know. Through new research, Judy and her team at the University of Minnesota have developed a platform for a new method of biocomputing they named Trumpet. Trumpet uses biological enzymes as catalysts for DNA-based molecular computing. Their focus on a single strain of DNA, how enzymes attach and produce a glow. And that's how we know the gate worked. That essentially turns a light on toward countless life-improving possibilities. So we want to do the same thing as a computer does, but we want to do it with goo. We want to do it with biological parts. And that's an idea that's been around for a couple decades now. Hopefully, as this technology develops, we'll be able to get as reliable as computer chips and we'll be able to do some of those really complex computations um, using those biological molecules. First ideas for the people this could help include anyone with something in their bodies requiring computations. Think someone who is diabetic and in need of an insulin pump or someone who has lost an eye or an arm. Trumpet could someday help how an amputee operates their prosthetic. It would be a good way to build prosthetic devices that can actually interface with a patient's um, central nervous system. So for example, you could imagine having an arm that you can actually move thinking about it like you're moving a natural arm. We're far from there right now. This is pretty early in this technology, but this is the way to get there. There's also potential for environmental applications. How nice would it be to never have to worry about blue-green algae again? You know how you can't go swim in it because you'll get sick, but what if we were able to catch that much earlier? And what, we were, what if we were able to catch that when it was uh, a few thousand cells in, instead of like billions of cells that would cause an entire lake to be in the grip of algal blooms? And while the work analyzing fragments of cells thus far has been three this years in the really making, there's still likely about a decade of work to be done, but the potential, according to those doing the research, is limitless. Right now we have some ideas of how to use it, but we're really hoping that, you know, the next generation of scientists will be able to really pull it into the future and really develop technologies that we can't even imagine and dream of. Leah Bino, Fox 9. That is exciting science mm, right there. Sure is, right? yeah. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't expect anything less from the U. There you go. University.